Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with business sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. We have an update on the mega $1.9 billion MSG Spear project east of the Venetian Expo. Here's new video of the more than 17,000 seat venue. Crews made quite the progress on the Exospear, which will eventually be covered with LED lighting. Uh, they're, they're also in the process of putting some of these similar type screens on the interior of the, uh, of the sphere, uh, which kind of envelops the audience. The Sands Corporation, one of the partners in the project, is um, um, exiting the Las Vegas market. Apollo uh, Global Management is taking over, and they'll have the same uh, situation that Las Vegas Hands has had. So uh, they will, there, there should be no disruptions. MSG Entertainment says they're on track to open the Spear next year with thankfully no supply chain issues. The Review Journal is owned by the family of Dr. Miriam Adelson, majority shareholder of Las Vegas Sands Corporation, which operates the Venetian and the Venetian Expo. And real estate experts predict Las Vegas could break its $25 million record for most expensive home ever sold. At least one on the market is going for more. The Seven Hills Mansion, featuring a pool, game room, patio and car lift, is listed for $32.5 million. In health, more good news. COVID cases in Clark County are continuing to drop, with the two-week moving average of new cases dripping significantly today from 913 to 798. Multiple media outlets are reporting Nevada may follow in California's footsteps and lift its mask mandate soon. In other top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A man once forcibly removed from a county commission meeting is suing. If it's a security guard working for the people! After last fall's incident, Lieutenant Governor candidate Mac Miller is suing Commissioner Tick Siegerbloom. Clark County Commissioner Tick Siegerbloom is reported saying to a local TV station that Miller had punched somebody. Of course, Miller has adamantly denied this. His attorney says there is no evidence to show that he did that. Siegerbloom says he made the comment to a local news station in, quote, good faith. Plus, a potential settlement for sexual assault victims. The CCSD board will consider a $9 million settlement Thursday involving Michael Bonko, a former special ed bus driver sent to prison for sexually assaulting preschoolers. Officials could not be reached for comment. And Sheriff Joe Lombardo gives his State of the Department address. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has more on what we can expect. Renee? Yeah, Jen, and his last State of the Department address as he begins his political run for governor. Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo covered several topics that affected the Valley in 2021, such as homicides, property crimes, and fatal accidents that he hopes will improve this year. Property crime, he says, rose about 11 percent last year and how it was a struggle for the department to tackle. Also, fatal accidents, an 8 percent increase, a 14-year high for the state of Nevada. What is the number one issue they bring up? Is it homicides? No, because it's very rare that anybody in their life or in their entire life or anybody they know is going to be involved in a homicide. But they're going to be involved in either a traffic accident or a traffic issue. He also had an emotional final goodbye to everyone he worked with as he begins his journey into politics. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos STN Sports. Download the app today. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said the league cooperated with Las Vegas police after New Orleans Saints running back Alvin Kamara was allowed to play in the Pro Bowl after being involved in an assault the night before. In his annual State of the League address held before the Super Bowl, Goodell said, quote, our security team was contacted by police in Las Vegas just prior to the game, saying they would like to meet with Alvin after the game. Our security team did what it was asked to do. For more on Goodell's address, head to VegasNation.com. 
and entertainment sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. With Valentine's Day coming up, Open Table releases the 100 most romantic restaurants in America. Las Vegas made the list with five restaurants, Delmonico Steakhouse, Ferraro's Restaurant and Wine Bar, Golden Steer Steakhouse, Vic and Anthony Steakhouse, and Vintner Grill. Also for Valentine's Day, Madame Tussaud is offering wedding packages with a special guest. For the first time, couples can get married at the museum with a wax celebrity of their choice serving as a witness. Packages start at 199 bucks. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. We're looking at another pleasant and clear night with temps still in the 60s, only dipping to the 50s overnight. On Thursday, another sunny day with light breezes, a high of 75 and low of 49 degrees. Pretty much the same weather on Friday and through the weekend. On Monday, expect some cloud coverage. And starting Tuesday, a cold front is forecasted with highs plummeting into the 50s. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Westgate Superbook is offering a big game prop contest for Sunday's Super Bowl. Contestants pick a winner on 30 pre-selected props related to the game, including the coin toss and which team will score first. Entries cost $100 with a maximum of three entries per person. First place receives 50% of the prize pool with 30% to second place and 20% for third. Celebrating Black History Month, a local student is bridging the dream as the recipient of a $10,000 scholarship. Meet Simone Moore. Receiving a scholarship actually uh, like helped me to go to school without having to pay any um, debt or take out any loans. And I'm actually studying global health because I want to be a doctor in Africa to help those um, who don't necessarily have access to medical health care or um, equipment or even healthcare professionals. I just want to help bridge that gap so that everyone can receive the quality care that they deserve. Moore is one of 30 students chosen for the Sally May Scholarship to increase college access for underserved communities. And Lifestyle, the star of the TV show Yan Can Cook, is coming to Las Vegas. Celebrity chef Martin Yan is opening an Asian-themed restaurant, MY Asia, at the recently rebranded Horseshoe Las Vegas. Live cooking shows, delicious special dishes prepared right in front of you. Fun cocktails and our special brand of Yanergy are coming soon. MY Asia is set to open its doors this spring. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.